portable vacuum. So you can go anywhere with this. Then you can just pop it right back on. And continue normal floor cleaning. Let's show you how this goes. The um, Oh yes, the suction power is much improved on this versus the original shark. Let's do a little test here. And I'm going to be using these knockoff Cheerios. Honey nut scooters or something? I don't know. They're cheap, they're at Winco. Put some big ones and let's take some and crush them up. We all know how hard it is to get crushed up cereal out of carpets. And apparently, the knockoff brand are very tough, they don't crush, they just smush. Okay, never mind that. A bunch of Honey Nut Scooters. And let's see how the Shark Navigator takes against the Scooters. Now, I would like to let you know I have the Suction Relief Dial set to off, so full suction applied to the floor. And we are going to be using setting number one first. So this is without the brush bar. As you can see, the scooters are mostly gone, except for a couple over there where it just pushed them. Let's turn the brush bar on and see how it does here the scooters. Okay, so it seems to have fallen victim to the snowplow effect that plagues many vacuums. Well, luckily, because this is a liftaway model, hit one button, pop off the hose, and let's see how it does. I will say it is, um, it's brand new, so it's a bit tough to move, and the hose doesn't stretch a lot. Okay, so it cleaned them all up, and let's take a look inside the extra large suction bin. Now one of the things that they did to get an extra large capacity on this is that they removed the 21 cyclones at the top. This only contains one cyclone, which is a bad thing, because, as I will show you, That's after one day. That's after two or three uses. See all that dirt? That's because it doesn't have the 21 cyclones filtering it all out of the airstream. However, it does do very good pickup, and the filters don't take very long to dry. But still, that's a lot of dirt that it is missing from the cyclones. And that was what I just got. Let me show that one more time with just the hose. Make sure you guys can see that. Okay. Now this time we're doing just the hose, no wand.
Now this does have the swivel steering like on the Dyson DC 25, 24, and 41, and 15, but um, it does not use a ball. One of the things, there are a couple things that I do not like about this vacuum. One is the way you gotta get the bin out. Let's see if I can show you. See that little tab? You gotta pull that tab off on both sides. They look very flimsy and they seem like they'll break. I don't know, I've had good luck with Shark products, though. They do make stuff out of very good plastic. And number two, directly related to the bin, it gets very dirty very quickly. So you will have to clean the bin out if you want it looking new. Now, that's not a huge deal to everyone, but for some people it is. Okay, emptying, same as always, just push that little button at the bottom, and the bottom comes out, dumps all your dirt. The, are, there are two tools that stay on board, the dusting brush and the crevice tool. The crevice tool does like to fall out, though, if you don't put it in very snugly. And the only other thing that I do not like about this vacuum, I don't know if it's just my unit, or if it's a problem that plagues all units, is the wheels squeak a lot on this. If you pull it backwards, and I don't know if it will do it with it off, but you will sometimes hear a squeaking sound. Yeah, it happens mostly when it's on. I don't know if you could hear that, but it does make a squeaking sound. Overall, I'd give this vacuum a nine, uh, uh, a 4.5 out of 5. I really like it. The price point is a bit high at $200. However, there's always that one retailer, hint, hint, wink, wink, if you know, that has the 20% off coupons that everyone has, hint, hint, wink, wink. And so you can knock the price off of this. 20% off, and that would be about $40. So you'd get this for $160. For $160, this is a steal of a vacuum. Great thing. There are a couple minor annoyances to it, but overall, I like it very much. So this was the review and test of the Shark Navigator Liftaway Professional.